Well, you know, it's Wednesday night. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And you know, I'm kind of in the mood for wine. I know, what a big surprise, right? Hi everyone, welcome to Wine Wednesday. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And you know, I've been making different soups and dinners and you know I what tonight I just said, I wanna go back to having simple snacks. I wanna just sit and relax, work on decorating my tree in between things, have some appetizers and have a great wine. I know, doesn't that sound like the perfect, perfect night? And of course, I wanted to do another video before Thanksgiving because I needed to wear my hat again. Because, yeah, I, I just, it's just a fun hat right here. It's a little turkey with, it's got some lights. And you know, if it was in the dark, I could pretend this was a Christmas tree all lit up. And I've got my Happy Thanksgiving t-shirt on. You know, I thought I bought another one last year, but this is the one from 2020. So, but I figure, it's okay, right? And I'm gonna have a little bit of wine tonight, a little bit of appetizers. I've got my fall autumn glass that I got from my Etsy buyer. Well, my small Etsy shop and I'll link her below. Super, super fast, super fun glasses. In a couple of weeks, you are gonna see my Christmas wine glasses from her. So cute. But anyway, oh, you know, I don't think I said my name. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. I am so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to spend a few minutes with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would hit that little red subscribe button before you go. Hit the notification bell. I would love for you guys to come back and join us for future videos. Today we're doing wine wine wednesday and you know when i first started you know i had the wine diaries i forgot when i started that but i thought you know maybe once a month or maybe twice a month i can do something and then it kind of took off on me i got a wine subscription took some recommendations and been having so much fun that some weeks i can get a wine wednesday in and then a wine diary on a friday night i know so good but anyway actually the wine this week that i'm having this vineyard is ali bow and she is one of our subscribers so i will link her below as well she is just such a sweet sweet awesome lady she's recently gone over 150 subs her channel's growing and that's just so exciting she does unboxings and things like that and she's one of few videos of a few giveaways that she's done some videos on so it's just really really fun she loves wine and like me, she holds things upside down. We kind of make up words and things on our own because some words just do not want to come out. I know, we're like the upside down sisters or something. But anyway, she had recommended uh, Vineyard to me in Oregon. And she's part of it somehow, whether like a shareholder or landowner or something like that. But anyway, I checked out their wines. Some of them are a little bit more expensive than I'm comfortable doing because it's just for me. I mean, if I was having dinner guest over or going over someone's house or something, then you don't mind giving a hostess gift or a gift. But when it's just for yourself, just kind of sitting here, you kind of feel funny spending a lot. So I picked out three great wines from them. I should have brought the other ones in here, but I only brought one in. I got a Chardonnay that I'm really excited to try. I got a Pinot Noir, and the one we're going to have tonight is a Pinot Grigio. And it's from Willamette Valley Vineyards, and they're in Oregon. And it's Pinot Gris. So this one is actually one of their gold medal winners, and it's a price set. I didn't mind paying for the Chardonnay I think was a little bit more expensive but I am really excited to try that I just don't know what do I want to have to eat with it when I have it and for my appetizers tonight I have a little hodgepodge here so I've got my Arby's curly fries with some Hidden Valley Ranch to dip it in I've got these beef empanadas 
and I think I'm going to probably use that same kind of Hidden Valley. I've got some shrimp cocktail. I already cooked my pre-cooked my shrimp and then let it cool down. I got it in some barbecue, some cocktail sauce. And then I've got some calamari here and it came with like a mango dipping sauce. So I've got that, but just in case I got some extra seafood cocktail sauce to dip it in and also some tartar sauce. So those are my snacks for tonight. Got a little bit of sauce on my fingers. Let me wipe that off. And anyway, I am excited to try this wine. This pin and I don't I haven't don't think I've had a lot of Pinot Grigio, so I'm excited to try this, you know, and I thought I'd just grab my little handy dandy thingamajobby, but who knows what I did with it. You know, I think I put it on my lap so I wouldn't lose it. Yeah. So let's take this foil off. So anyway, if you are planning on oh maybe driving or flying tomorrow, be safe everyone. A lot of crazy people out there. And then the cork right here, it's got the W for the Willamette Valley Vineyards. And we've got our handy dandy wine opener. You can see my corks behind me have really kind of built up right here. I actually bought another little wire basket like that to start filling up. And I'll probably, when I can move that one without it really falling all over the place, I'll probably put that out on my wine cooler, which I really didn't need, but at the time I thought I did. Alrighty, so I've got this Pinot Grigio, and I've got this glass here. It's got my name on it, and then just some fall pumpkins. And again, that Etsy shop, she was so, so quick at getting that out. And I'll have her link below. Like I said, I've got two glasses that I got from her to use during my Christmas vlogmas. So it is coating the glass a little bit. It looks thicker than I thought it would, kind of like richer. It's a nice kind of straw gold color. Just kind of swirl it around, aerate it a bit. Got some of those fragrances and aromas unleash. Oh my gosh, it smells sweet. I can smell um, maybe honeydew melon something citrusy, maybe some mango, maybe some guava, something floral too. It just smells really, really sweet. It smells like a really nice summer wine, but I think just kind of for sitting and relaxing, having some appetizers, going to be perfect. Cheers, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving 2022. Mmm. This is nice. It's not really dry. I thought it was going to be drier than that. A little dry, but not too bad. You really can taste those fruits. Again, it's like a honeydew melon, maybe guava, maybe mango, just really something sweet, maybe something honey-based or something sweet like that in here. Maybe it's like an orange blossom or something that kind of gives it that citrus thing, but, but also sweetness. So maybe orange blossom. I don't know. Mm. It's got a nice texture, a nice rich body. Um, and again, this one's one of their gold medal winners. Um, I'm just trying to see if it says something else in it. Um, no, it's, it just says it's crisp, it's refreshing, and you can pair it well. It would pair well with salmon. It enhances the flavor of the fish. Um, anything else? Tells about the soil and the growing temperatures and things like that. And it's 13.2% alcohol. So this is a really nice Pinot Gris. This is, I think, if I know I probably have some, but the not just ringing a bell for being anything that's really sticking out my mind. This is really good. If you love Pinot Grigio, I think you are going to love this. And again, having it with... Well, I got this on my... I have one of these barbecue. Well, it's not barbecue. It's cocktail shrimp. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's nice and crisp. I know you can buy the ones in the supermarket and you get like that ring. 
but they're so soggy I don't like those ones so I got some fresh ones and then I just kind of I cooked them up in my toaster oven they're nice flavor nice and crisp mm. really good and I think the last time I had the calamari I liked it better with the barbecue sauce but let's try this mango that is good try it in the tartar sauce I love fried calamari this is like salt and pepper crusted it's really really good I didn't do it myself it was in the frozen food section so good like it with the tartar sauce it's a big one do a little one whoops and this one in the cocktail sauce cheers everyone hmm I don't know which one I like it better in. I like the mix. This is a really good Pinot Grigio. Thanks so much, Ali Bao. Mmm. That's my new favorite Pinot Grigio. Love this one. So anyway, thanks again, Ali Bao, for making that suggestion. I appreciate it so much. If anyone else has some wineries that they love to go to or favorite variety or vineyard that they like to buy from let me know and you know I will check them out if I can because it's just fun tasting new wines and trying new vineyards and it's just always so fun but you know what I wanted to also mention last year um doing my my vlogmas for the Christmas vlogmas and I'm going to try to keep them really really short because I run out of breath sometimes and I don't want to have to take a few days off like I had to do, do last year. But when I was getting towards the end and doing like the New Year's. And I haven't got my, my um, sparkling wine sample yet for New Year's. But I want to do the same thing that I did last year. And so at the end of the video set I do, I want to play Old Lang Syne. And I want to... If you guys are willing to, I would love to use your pictures, whether it's um, the thumbnail that you use if you have a channel or a favorite photograph of yourself and just kind of play that at the end of those Vlogmas movies or videos just as my way of these are the greatest people in my life. These are my people that follow me. These are these are my friends. This is, this is our YouTube family and just as my way of of thanking you guys for all your support and just to put a face with the different names that maybe people see if you don't have a channel or maybe you don't have or you know there's people that don't um, have themselves on video they you know do shorts and things like that and they don't put themselves in it so that would just be a fun way for everyone to kind of get to know each other and just to put a face with a name so if, think about that you can send it to me on my email. It will be below. And again, I hope you guys go out. Have a happy and fun Thanksgiving. And just enjoy the time that you have with your family, your friends, your loved ones. And if you have one of these hats, I really think it's really fun. And, you know, it's cold out. And if you pull it down a little bit, it'll keep your ears warm. And you can, you know, I should have brought my sunglasses in here. And I could put sunglasses over here like, you know, like Monica from friends so anyway i'm rambling i'm hungry i want some more wine i want some more food and i just want to thank you guys so much for taking time to spend with me happy thanksgiving take care everyone be safe be kind be happy enjoy life have fun i love you guys so much take care we will see you in the next video